Hi, in uh, 2011, Siemens won the SAMA Annual Award for uh, Key Account Management Programs. Uh, why do you think Siemens was selected? Uh, Noel, thank you for this question. Uh, three main reasons why uh, some are selected Siemens as a program where others can, can learn from, from the best practice we are using. First of all is the sustainability of our approach over the long term where we did not change it. The second is our People Excellence Program, Talent Attraction and Education and also Certification. And the third point is uh, the support of our top management that is very is important to really drive this uh, approach. What do you think have been the major changes in Siemens' approach to key account management during, say, the, uh, the past three years? Well, the past three years we really managed to drive it across the whole company that we really have now one uh, harmonized, structured account management approach for all Siemens globally through all our sectors and businesses. Uh, Siemens actually has more than one key account management program. Actually, I believe it has several. Can you say something about the differences between the programs? I would not say we have several. Actually, I think we have one, but we have three different, uh, we segment it into three different, let's say, needs of customers. There are national customers, and these are, we call them regional accounts with served by regional account managers, and we have global ones. And these global ones are either those which we buy from one of, one of our businesses, which is in the GRAM program, or from all our business, which is in the corporate account management program. So we have three times types of account management, but harmonized in one program. But for example, just to give an example, what's the difference is it's important, for example, for trainings. You, you do not want to train a regional account manager dealing with a national account like uh, power utility on global frame contracts or on the mentalities in different cultures or things like that. Therefore, we think it's important to have the segmentation in the account management. Uh, any account management program is only as good as the uh, key account or strategic account managers. How does Siemens go about finding and then training account managers to be uh, the best in the business? Honestly, um, I mean, time-wise, the process would be first of all attracting and then, and then developing them. Our main focus, to be honest, is really on, on training them, certify them, because they are, it depends on the market, but there are many uh, vertical markets where we found out that we cannot work with people we get from outside the company because they don't understand the internal things, they don't have the process know-how, they don't have the technology, the technological know-how, and therefore the main thing is really to train them and to certify them during their job for us. Uh, could you say something about the certification program? Uh, how does that work at Siemens? Yeah, well, we, we have uh, developed uh, a training program uh, uh, which is really specialized for Siemens. So we work on, uh, with our tools, with our wording, with our processes. And at the end of this training, uh, people really understand also the Siemens internal setup and, 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 and processes. And um, now we are in finalization of a certification program that leads to the point that uh, in the future every new account manager will be certified after his 18 months in, the, in his job as a Siemens account manager. What do you see as the major challenges for Siemens' approach to key account management going forward? I mean, this is a perfect bridge between these two questions. It's, it's mainly about the quality. We see now a tremendous growth in our account management program, more and more accounts we are building, and we need people to support that, to train the people, to make it really a, a standardized thing. And here we have a problem really to stay with the quality we have while growing this, this program to an even bigger one. This is the first uh, big challenge, and the second is the changes in the markets. So we see in many markets that IT is getting more important, that product markets move into service markets, and that means it's even more important to be close to the customer, to listen to customers, to understand markets, to understand customers. So here, to move our people, which are uh, partly coming from this product side, into a better listener, a better understanding of customers and customer markets.